Hi, this is Dean. Just a short video on how to configure your laptop to have a fixed IP address, allowing you to communicate over Ethernet to a controller or other device which also has a fixed IP address. The key thing to understand is that when we configure an IP address between two devices, those IP addresses must be unique to each device. The last three characters of the IP address must be unique but the remaining characters must all be identical. Okay, that's the quickest summary of numbering I can give you on this. Um, quickly as well, I'm using Windows um, Windows 7 64-bit. You may be using different operating systems, um, but essentially all of the parameters are in the same um, menu structure within Windows. You just need to hunt for them or search for them. I'm going to show you two ways of doing it. One is the quick way, one is a bit more long-winded. So first, the long-winded way is to um, access the start menu and literally type into the search program for network and you can find network and sharing center. Okay, this should populate because Windows will search for the programs which begin with this and you can click on Network and Sharing, Sharing Center. Okay, that's one way. I'm gonna show you the quick way. It's gonna close that down. The quick way is to go onto your um, network management icon on your taskbar. At the moment, I don't have any network connections, no wireless, no Wi-Fi, no LAN connections. So if I click on that icon, which is showing me there's no connections at the moment, I can quickly go Open Network and Sharing Center and I'm back to the same location. So choose choose either way that suits you best. Okay, I currently don't have any connections. There's nothing nothing visible here. And so what I'm first gonna do is I've plugged a ethernet patch lead into my uh, remote device, be that a DDC controller or or other other um, IP rated controller, IP, IP configurable controller, I should say. And I'm gonna plug the other end into my laptop and my laptop will then try to make a, a network connection. But as you can see, it's uh, come up with local area connection, but there's no connection to the internet or whatever. Um, what I need to do now is I literally just click on with my uh, left mouse button, click on local area connection. And this then gives me the option to go into properties. And then I can choose internet protocol version four. Important at this stage to point out is I am only connected directly between my laptop and the remote device. The device is not connected to a third party network or a client network. It's literally one cable between my laptop and the controller. If I now double click on Internet Protocol version 4, it will open up another box where it gives me the opportunity to specify a f uh, an IP address. So I click on this radio button and now I can type in my own laptop IP address. The controller I'm communicating to or with has a fixed IP address of 192.168.1.99. So my laptop can be any address in that range, 192.168.1. Okay, so at this stage, my last three digits must be unique to my laptop. They can be anything between 1 and 255, but in my case, cannot be 99 because that's the address of my remote controller. So I can choose, nice and easy, I'll just choose 111. The subnet mask must also be the same as the controller and the DDC 420 and also the FG controllers will default to 255, 255, 255, and for the DDC 420 controller, if I'm going to later use PS4000, I also need to specify the default gateway, which is 192.168.1.1. Sorry, keyboard. Uh, I do not need to worry about DNS servers. Once I've finished those three, three groups of settings, I can say OK. Say OK. 
and I can close down the configuration window. Okay. Now it's established a link to the remote device. It says it's an unidentified network. And to test it out, I can open up my web browser and I can choose to enter my IP address of my remote device, which we know to be 192.168.1.99. You can see I've got that in my history and I can just press the enter key. And now I have a live connection with the controller and I'm ready to carry on with my commissioning work. Thanks very much.